Spontaneously Combustible Studio in Cleveland, Ohio, presented by Permanently Geek. This is Uncovered, the show where we compare an original version of a song and the cover version of it and try to decide which is better. Under this lovely blue piece of fabric, there is a piece of paper inside a acrylic display holder um, with a song That's title. My joke. <laughs> <laughs> You used it once, now it's my turn. Uh, all right. <laughs> Learn to share. All right. <laughs> Were you an only child? I was. There we go. Still am. <laughs> <laughs> You're an only child for now. Yeah. Just you wait. <laughs> I don't want to dive too deeply into, into how that threat happened. So, anywho. Uh, so, I hear there's a song underneath this. There is a song sheet. underneath yeah. <laughs> So, my name is Michael McFarland. This is my co-host, Mr. Kevin Conaway. Hello. Um, shall we find out what the uh, what the song is? Yeah, let's figure out summer? what we're going to argue about. All right. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. Hey, Mickey, you so fine. You so fine. <laughs> no? Try, try again? Uh, no, right. we'll go with that. <laughs> Start it up again. <laughs> hey, Mickey, you so fine. You so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Ooh. All, All right. right. Blinded by the Light by Bruce Springsteen originally and Manfred Mann's Earth Band. Earth Band. Earth Band. I'm excited for this. Given I am as well. That it's one of the uh, most commonly misheard lyrics in the cover version. Uh, I think this is going to be a fun one. So we are going to listen to both versions of the songs in their entirety. Um, you will only hear short clips and we will be right back. She was blinded by the light. And we're back. So um, I have a feeling we're going to set a record on this show for the number of times we say the word douche. <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> we already set the record, yeah, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> the Manfred Mann version of this, uh, it's often joked about because of the uh, frequently misheard lyric, <laughs> um, wrapped up like a douche. <laughs> um <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, which, if you're not familiar with what it's supposed to be, uh, I believe they were actually singing Revved Up Like a Deuce. Well, that's what it said on the lyric sheet, but that's not <laughs> what they were singing. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, even Springsteen himself makes fun of uh, the fact that, like, Manfred Mann had a big hit with this. Well, they changed the lyric in the song or <laughs> something like that. Um. Well, they, they did change the lyric. Like, and I'm not just talking about the word douche. Uh, because in the Springsteen version... It rhymes, cut loose like a deuce. That's true. It's yeah. obvious that he's talking about pooping. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's not what it's that's not what it's about. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, let's rewind that, folks. It's obvious well, he's well, talking well, about post. hot rod culture <laughs> in New Jersey. Right. That, that that more correct? Yeah, My, that, more more that, on point with that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> 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 um, so, the Bruce Springsteen version had a lot of words. A lot of words. <laughs> a a ridiculous whole, amount of so words. Many words. So many so, words. Like, I imagine, that's uh, that was the first track on, on um, the album that it was yeah, on, like, like, Readings from Asbury yeah. Park. Um, so, did they bother including, like, lyrics in the like, liner sheet? Like, because... like, like my, I, I imagine Bruce, like, shows up to the recording studio and sits in front of the producer, like, puts down a binder. <laughs> it's like, like here, this are, is... here are the lyrics. Like, oh. Is that for the whole that... album? No, that's the first song. <laughs> what? <laughs> How long is this song? Five minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Speaking of song lengths, so... Yeah. We actually so the the full length of the Manfred Mann version is about seven minutes eight seconds. Um, I like how you said about, and then you said exactly what it was. Right <laughs> after Approximately that. seven minutes eight <laughs> seconds and fifty four milliseconds. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we initially listened to a version that was about three minutes and forty five seconds, somewhere right. around there. And, um, and I, w I was surprised when you pulled that off. I'm like. Man, I thought I thought the Man for Man version was a little bit longer than that. Like I, I, I'm surprised it's shorter than the Springsteen version. And he gets to the end, I go, wait a minute. <laughs> like, I feel like we didn't hear 
stuff that I remember being in that <laughs> like, song. <laughs> did, we, did we hear? Did we hear them play chopsticks in the yeah, middle of the song? Yeah. <laughs> that was specifically <laughs> what we, you asked. We, yeah, yeah, which got a very weird look from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, there was the boop 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 Which, by the way, that transition, the beginning of the chorus, where it like drives in hard for like one measure, With and then the everything pulls out no right after the meadleys oh, yeah, yeah. um you know for the first blinded by the light yeah the, the, <laughs> i mean the song has tremblos and yeah, virtuosos you know, and goes <laughs> meadly, 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 meadly. Yeah, the meadleys and squillies <laughs> <laughs> and the dragon comes in the dark <laughs> um but it was right after the meadleys okay um, where it just drops out where yeah it drops out the keyboard and boop, 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 yeah exactly light. i love that transition i do too it's so good it is it is so good it is um and I don't like that's the kind of transition that I don't know how you come up with unless you are taking numerous substances in the studio. I'm like, dude, dude, we gotta just like drive hard in the chorus and then stop everything and go meep, 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 meep. Well, as evidence to that, the whole four minute section of the song in oh, the you, album version. You mean the turn on the lava lamp and smoke some weed section uh-huh. of yeah, the song? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I understand why they edited that out of the radio version because. <laughs> Um, Interestingly enough, though, um, I made this point when I was was talking to you about this earlier. Uh, when when I was a kid, like high school, middle school, whatever, like that, I used to be really, really into classic rock, and uh, I had heard this uh, Man for Man's version of the song uh, before hearing Springsteen's version of the song, and I actually didn't realize it was a cover for many years. Um, but 98.5, the classic rock radio station in Cleveland, would play the Man for Man version a lot, and they would always play the seven-minute album cut. So, like, that, that's why I was amazed when you had pulled up a three-minute version. You know, like, <laughs> man, I thought this song was longer than which that. Is, which is <laughs> probably the original radio edit. Like, I don't, I don't know if you remember um, Brain Stew by Green Day when it was first on the radio and it was a single. They left the entire hmm. coda portion of that off. And you would just hear the, you know, the the first part of the song. Um, and now when you hear it on the radio, you usually hear that coda tagged on where it like goes all fast and, and yeah, all that. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Yeah, so maybe. I think it was, it, it it's something that you'll see a lot where once something becomes a legacy track um, and you're hearing it on, you know, on classic rock radio or, or something like that, they'll play the full version of it because... They know you know the song. They know you like the song. Hmm. And the DJ can go use the bathroom to, you know, cut loose a deuce uh, yeah. and, <laughs> and make sure that yeah. he'll have time to get back. That's true. So, like, a lot of, a lot of album uh, radio did have what they would call the, the bathroom tracks. Right. Like, it would be like and a how, long song that they would put on yeah. so the DJ could leave the booth. Exactly. But, so you got you got the Manfred yeah. Man's Earth Man version of Blinded by it's, the Light. You've got, uh, I'm I'm sure, the full version of Freebird right. uh, that, that, is that's, in there. That's actually how uh, Rush first broke into uh, U.S. radio. <laughs> was which, bathroom which, tracks? Yeah, it, it was in Cleveland, actually, because it was MMS that first broke them in, in the U.S., and Working Man was like a seven-minute song. So they, <laughs> they were like, hey, all right, well, this, this could be a bathroom track, and it caught on. So, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a new piece of information for me. Thank there you, you go. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so shall we reveal yeah, which, uh, which we liked? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Hmm. This is a first. This might be where first. we. Are you sure that you did? Did you put? Is no, that, that was is that right. That did, was did you, that was my. You, inten- you don't want to turn that around. No, no, that was my intention. That was huh. what I. That was what I meant to do, and that was that was what you. Yeah, I meant I meant for that. I'm I'm worried. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little concerned here. Um. You know what? That's not a surprise at all. To not me. not um, really to me either. Especially considering at this point in in our episode. Uh, we, have we ha, talked about? Have we talked about aside from, version aside from that had a lot, <laughs> had a of, lot words of words in it. it. Yeah. We really haven't talked about. Yeah, it. not really. I um, mean, the Bruce Springsteen version. Uh, it's like honestly, it's like a lot of his early catalog. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of clever lines in it, and there's some good hooks, but it just sort of meanders and wanders back and does. forth, yeah. and it he's sort of. Uh, it was before he'd managed to get his mush mouth delivery to be endearing, and it just sounded kind of drunk. Yeah. Like, yeah. there was some point where it transitioned to, like, you know, I'm a hard-working blue-collar guy from, like, dude, I'd had too many drinks after work, and yeah. now I'm going into the studio. Um, 
and, I, and I'm a big fan of Bruce Springsteen. Me too. Uh, like, yeah. I'm, I, I thoroughly enjoy his catalog. His early stuff, not so much, though. He hadn't really found his sound or his writing style. Yeah. Um, there's, it, didn't, it doesn't necessarily sound like a Springsteen track at this I point. I completely agree um, with that, yeah. So it had it had a good hook in there. It did, and there are some like fun lines and a lot of you know clever wordplay um, that I think Manfred Mann and his Earth Band stripped out uh, about three quarters of the lyrics and picked the <laughs> best least. couple verses. <laughs> um, now there was one thing that that uh, when we were listening, I pointed out. Now everyone talks about the douche misheard lyric. However, there is <laughs> <laughs> douche, <laughs> douche. Um, I might, I might be off. We, we might be above two now. <laughs> I'll, I'll, anyway, go on. <laughs> um, everyone, everyone talks about the douche, but uh, there's one line which is supposed to be drove by in his curly whirly. But once someone points out that it sounds like he's singing, gave my anus curly whirly. You can never hear anything but that. Now, I don't know what it means to give somebody's <laughs> anus curly whirly. I don't, I don't know either. I never heard that until just now. <laughs> and you'll never not hear <laughs> it again. And I'll probably never not hear it again. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Far <away. laughs> Shall we reveal uh, what the others pick? So this is, this is what Kevin thought I would choose. And this is what Michael thought I would choose. <laughs> I thought that was what I'm right. saying. So Kevin thought I would pick the cover, and his reasoning was douche. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I wrote cover; it was less to write. <laughs> my, Michael said Manfred Mann's Far Out Earth Band <laughs> because Kevin likes saying douche. <laughs> Can we compare douche? <laughs> we had similar reasoning there. <laughs> I think I think I get at least an extra point for for calling out your love of saying douche. No extra points. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, so that puts us at seven and five. Seven we've, and five. Yeah. This has been a, a nice little string of us both getting everything right as far yeah. as the other person. Yeah. I mean, we've been we've been both doing pretty well. I, I say we like just lop off those first couple episodes <laughs> as like the preseason. <laughs> no sir. No sir. No can do. Douche. <laughs> I, I think I lost count. I'll, I'll, I'll keep. I'll, I'll be keeping tally down here. Yeah, the whole episode. Somewhere, somewhere down here. It <laughs> Some, will, uh... Somewhere right around yeah, here we'll is the douche count. <laughs> douche count 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Uncovered. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to Permanently Geek. Um, there are all kinds of awesome shows on this channel. Um, none of them have the word douche in them nearly as much as this did. Um, but some of that's, them might... That's a challenge to you other shows out there. <laughs> but at least one of them might give your anus curly-whirly. So uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for dropping by, and take care. Douche, 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 douche,